What is SR3000 self-stick film? It's a sand carving film. It is pressure sensitive. It has a low tack surface, which makes it repositionable. Has your self-stick film ever felt dry or that there's no tack to it? I'm gonna take a stencil here of our SR3000 self-stick film, and I'm gonna remove the backing paper, remove the cover paper, revealing the sticky side. Now, if this mask has ever felt where it's dry or there's no tack, remember this, this film is subject to its environment. If there's a lot of moisture in the air, this film is gonna feel very tacky. If there's no moisture, dry, like a dry climate or winter months, this film is gonna feel very dry or that there's no tack to it. I'm gonna give you a tip on reactivating the self-stick properties and bringing your stencil back to life. To make this stencil a little tackier or to make it stickier, two ways you can go about it. One is taking an old t-shirt here or a chamois, something that's lint free. You wanna wet it, wring it out. It's just a damp towel. And we're gonna put this stencil right over the top. Press it down just a couple seconds, flip it over. And now you could really see the tack on this stencil. Apply it to your surface. Another way that you can reactivate the adhesive is use a vapor or a steamer and just kind of roll this stencil right over that steam. It's gonna bring that moisture into that stencil. What you don't wanna do, stay away from a water bottle. You don't wanna saturate the stencil with water. You're just using a little bit of moisture. And also stay away from something like this. This is a blotting towel, a terry cloth towel. You can see it's textured. There's not a lot of, um, it's not flat. So you wanna take that stencil, if you were to apply it to this surface, it's not gonna reactivate the entire stencil like it would on a flat surface. So again, moisture is a solution. Bring a little bit of moisture into that stencil and it's gonna bring back the self-stick properties to the SR3000 self-stick film.